Kayla, now what is that in Celsius? Let's see, minus... <laughs> For our Canadian friends. <laughs> hey, I'm Kayla. And I'm Carson. Welcome back to Laced Up. Today we're talking about nine of our top selling winter boots. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get right into it. All right, up first we have the Kamek Allborg. This is an amazing winter shoe. Um, it has fully sealed seams to keep your feet waterproof in the winter. Um, it has a comfort rating of negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's gonna keep you warm in all cold conditions. And it has really good traction on the bottom to keep you upright in the winter. What do we have next? Ooh. Looks like we've got the Kamek Nation Plus. Um, has heat MX insulation to remove moisture to keep you comfort all day long. And this boot is rated for negative 40 degrees. And once again, all Kameks have really good traction on the bottom for those snowy days. All right, and up next we have the North Face Chill Cat. This is one of my favorite boots um, because it's compatible with gaiters. It has this D-ring right here that you hook your gaiters into. So it's really good for snowshoeing and things like that. Um, it's streamlined and waterproof. So this whole thing's waterproof. It's got this TPU shell um, for increased flexibility. And one other really cool feature about it is it has an EVA sole to it. Um, and that means it's gonna be really durable and last a long time. All right, let's see what we have next. Looks like we have the Kamek Momentum. This boot is good up to weather in negative 40 degrees, so it's gonna keep you warm in all the coldest conditions. Yeah, and another really cool feature of this boot um, is that it has what's called Ice Kiss Dual Density Synthetic Rubber on the bottom. Um, now, what that means is that it utilizes two different kinds of rubber and it will have longer life as well as a more durable life. So this boot also has faux fur, which makes it vegan, um, if you're interested in that. We also have the gusset tongue, which means that it's just attached a little bit higher than most tongues are, just to keep the insulation in the boot. Up next we have, ooh, the Kamek Iceland. Um, so this boot is good up to negative 40 degrees as well, so it's gonna keep you nice and warm. Also has this padded collar and tongue for ultimate comfort. Yeah, and another really cool feature is it has outsole technology called Defender 2. Now, what this means is that it has heightened traction and stability for all different types of weather. All right, let's see what we have next. Ooh, this is the Sorel Joan of Arctic. Now, this is one of my favorite boots. Not for me, of course, though. This is a women's boot. Um, but one of the reasons that it's my favorite is because it has this 12-inch shaft to it. Um, as well as it's fully waterproof and has sealed seams. Yes, this boot has this nice rubber shell for added waterproofing and it has this herringbone outsole for added traction. All right, and up next we have... This looks like the Sorel Tivoli. This is an awesome boot. It is fully waterproof, also has 100 grams of insulation, so it's gonna be nice and warm. Yes, this is a really good everyday boot because it has that nice mid-cut style got some really awesome suede leather. It has a fleece liner with a faux fur trim on it. This boot also has a nice molded rubber outsole for traction. All right, let's see what we have up next. Okay, this looks like the Sorel Caribou. This is very similar to the Joan of Arctic that we saw earlier in this video. It has this nice rubber shell for waterproofing. It also has this Aerotech tread on the bottom. Yes, and this shoe is one of my personal favorites. It has this nice Sherpa snow cuff on the top, and now this really helps a ton with keeping snow from getting down in your sock. As well, it has this caribou lug pattern on the bottom. Now this lug pattern is tried and true, been used for a long time, works on a lot of different terrain with a lot of different conditions. All right, and up next we have the Columbia Bugaboot. This is one of my favorite boots. It's probably our best seller. It has 200 grams of insulation, so it is gonna be nice and warm. Yeah, and this boot utilizes some really cool technology throughout the sole of the shoe. Um, so on the outsole of the shoe, it has Omni-Grip technology, so super stable. And on the midsole, it has what's called Tech Light, so it's gonna be a lighter boot, not so clunky. So this boot is also fully waterproof. It has seam-sealed construction to just make it extra waterproof. 
right, so those were our top nine best selling snow boots here at Al's. Um, we each just wanted to pick two of our favorites that personally stand out to both of us. Go for it. My top pick is the Sorel Caribou. The reason I really like this boot is one, because I own it and I know how awesome it is. Um, number two, it's just really good for the coldest of days and I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, my top pick was the Columbia Bugga Boot, just because of how warm it is. This is the most insulated snow boot that we have with 200 grams. Um, so it's just a really good warm snow boot for every day. And I'll add to that one, it has been the top selling boot on the market for a long time. Yeah. However, this is an, uh, another really good boot. This is the North Face Chill Cat. Um, I love this boot. It's a really good everyday boot because it is so light. Um, it's compatible for gaiters, really great for snowshoeing. If you want to get out and not be too clunky, this is the boot for you. Um, the other one that I chose was the Sorel Tivoli. Um, I really like this one because it's also cute and stylish, but also super warm with the 100 grams of insulation that are in it and waterproof. It's a little bit lighter than some of these bigger snow boots, so it's a good option when you're trying to have a stylish boot. Thank you all so much for watching. Now that you've seen some of these awesome boots, come into Owls and try them on. If you're not able to make it in, go to our website and order them. We hope you enjoyed this video. We enjoyed making it. Um, so if you like it, please like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.